EVGA. Once iconic brand has finally ceased to exist. But as you would have guessed, its remanufactured cards are still floating around. And today I'm going to show you why you should avoid graphics cards that had been remanufactured by the EVGA. Hello Internet. Today we have this EVGA 3090 Ti in for repair. Almost a 4090 if you ask me, and it would be a shame if it goes to waste. If you see EVGA GPU with this sticker, run very, very far away from it. And in this video I'll show you why. Alternatively, you can look up close and you should see a second EVGA sticker placed on top of the old one. This is also a red flag and you should avoid it if possible. With that out of the way, let's take this thing apart and see what EVGA does to their own cards. Cooler here is very nice. Large vapor chamber to keep your 3090 Ti attempts as low as possible. And the rest is pretty much standard. The board itself is well made. Nothing special for EVGA already high quality standards. But instead of focusing on the board quality, let's focus on the resistance measurements and see what's going on. This 5 volt rail here is just over 200 ohms. This is very low, but for this specific card it's normal, so we're going to ignore that. Before I power the board, I noticed what I noticed on many EVGA remanufactured cards. The core on this board has suffered a reflow. If we look close around the edge of the core, flux residue is an indicator of a reflow, which is basically cooking your board in hopes that everything will magically fix itself. <laughs> Oftentimes, reflow will make things worse. You serious? But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves and power the board and see what it does. All voltages look good. And all power stages also look good. So at this point you ask, what could possibly be wrong with this card if all voltages are present? I don't know. I'll start by trying to get a picture from the card itself. And waiting for long enough, there's nothing on the screen. Now let's take the HDMI cable, move it over to the motherboard, getting an image from the CPU and run a memory test. There we have it. According to this cheat sheet, we have an issue with the very last memory channel, Partition 0, which is the last chip located near the corner here. Oftentimes, this chip is perfectly fine and that the problem is actually under the core failing to communicate with the chip due to a broken connection in between. This is fixed by a reball in the core and the memory chip, so let's get that done and see if that helps.
And there we have it. As I suspected, EVGA's underpaid reflow technician has cooked the board to the death, causing solder mask to flake off the board. Well, 50-50 ain't bad, right? Thanks, EVGA. You, you suck! When that happens, the damage to the mask is far worse than having ripped pads. The repair here is nearly impossible, given how solder likes to flow along the surface. I may fix one area, but solder might flow in between the pads under the mask, causing short circuits all over the board. But you know me, I just have to try it, so I'll go ahead and patch every damaged area with solder mask, solder the core down and hope for the best. As a result of all that hard work, we have a short on memory. My guess is that the solder was flowing under the mask, and as I said earlier, shorted something along its path. So let's remove the core and find the blob. Did you just call me blob? The worst thing about this type of damage is that the more you fix it, the worse it gets with every attempt. Things only get worse. As you can see, I now have a lot more mask that came loose, and no matter how careful you can be, it will continue to get worse. But, you know, who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky this time, so let's give it a try one more time. Great! No more short on memory. But we now have a short on 1.8 instead. <laughs> So I guess we need to lift the core and see what else got damaged. And by doing so, inflicting more damage to the board and doing more repairs as well. There we have it. The 1.8 volt is now normal, and the memory is short. And with that there, I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore, at least not today, so I lifted the core and went to sleep. Next day I ended up trying one more time, but the result is the same. Dead short on memory, and all that is thanks to the EVGA remanufacturing process. Okay, so the video card is done now too. Hit the dislike button, rub some more salt in the wound. Thank you, I appreciate that. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this was educating. You owe me a like. Goodbye. <laughs>